Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, live from the Omega headquarter here in Biel. With me is Gregory Kisling. He is head of product management and he's real, not a hologram as I am. And uh, I'm very excited uh, that we have him today to show us lots of product. And there is one watch I think you're particularly keen of presenting us. Not only one watch, but one collection. And this is uh, the Trezor Small Seconds uh Edition. Usually we have a lot of new Speedmaster and Seamaster, but uh, this year we are coming out with a very nice uh, collection, uh, which is a concentration of uh, simplicity, elegance and, and watchmaking tradition. And this is probably the watch we're all gonna wear once this COVID uh, crap is gone and we are really back again in life when we are partying, when we are having fun. This is an elegant watch you can wear with a suit. It's just, I've seen the watch already. Beautiful. I've not for a long time seen such a beautiful freehands watch, believe me. So it's really worth that we show it you in the biggest possible size on your screen so you won't see Greg and me again. In this video you will hear us talking but we are filming with a lens in macro 4K and you will see the watch on your screen, full screen. Enjoy this video and discover the beauty and discover also the uh, bandwidth Omega has from the Speedmaster over all the sports watches until the elegant watches. Have fun. Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Tobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. Omega de Villa. Trésor, this is to pronounce in French, uh, since on the world, on the E of the Trésor, the accent aigu. And so there's a clear pronunciation to make for the watch, it's pronounced French, Trésor. So this is a new, ultra elegant um, offer from Omega coming this year. Thank you, Alexander. Yes, uh, indeed, this year we actually extended the, the core collection by adding two new hand winding calibers. Uh, the one you have in your hand is with a small seconds indicator at 6 o'clock and uh, you will see after uh, a second, second collection having uh, uh, another complication, the power reserve uh, located uh, at 12 o'clock. Uh, you can uh, definitely see that uh, we still have a very, very slim uh, case uh, thanks to the fact that uh, the movement is a hand winding movement. It means that there's no rotors. Uh, you can see these three beautiful bridges. The collection is master chronometer uh, certified by METAS. You can see here the two barrels uh, which are mounted in series. And uh, these two barrels uh, with this new caliber offer, um, offer a power reserve, an autonomy of 72 hours, which means three days of uh, power reserve. Uh, three days is, is, is definitely a must for a hand winding watch because if you wear the watch during the week and uh, you will change uh, the watch for the weekend, the last time you hand wind uh, your watch is the Friday morning. So you have to calculate not two days just for the weekend, but three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, and then you still have a, a autonomy on, 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 the, on, on Monday morning. Can I ask you the, the thickness? Because I'm, I'm just showing it into the camera mm -hmm. this way. So the total thickness of this watch is uh, exactly uh, above 10 millimeters. It, it's exactly 10 millimeters, 0.7. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's 10 millimeters only. This is exactly the same thickness as the, the three hands uh, Trezor watch we, we, we have in our collection. Uh, despite the fact that the, the movement is thicker because of the small seconds indication at 6 o'clock. So the, 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 this new movement is thicker than the three ends movement, uh, thicker by uh, 0 0.75 millimeters. But we, we, we could manage the same thickness regarding the, the total height of, of the watchhead thanks to a, a specific um, 
design concept for uh, the dial, which is domed. Uh, and also uh, thanks to the fact that we don't have a central second hand, but a small seconds with a sub dial at, at six o'clock. So the total thickness is exactly the same between the three ends model and the small seconds edition. And if you're asking yourself, uh, since I've been showing you from the side, uh, the lug-to-lug -lug, uh, distance I've been measuring it is 45 millimeters. So 45 millimeters from one lug end to the other. And the case diameter is uh, exactly uh, 40, 40 millimeters. 40 millimeters, we repeat that, 10 millimeters the thickness, 45 lug-to-lug -lug and yeah, 40 mm. the diameter. Um, yeah, you have that soleil. Yeah, the, the, the dial is, is, is just, just amazing. First, it is domed, and you can really see uh, the, the dome shape, uh, which perfectly match right with, uh, with, yeah. uh, with, with the case, but the indexes are matching with the same radius as the, 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 the radius of the domed dial, as well as the minute hand. And um, uh, regarding the, the finishing of the dial, we, we first machine uh, the dial and then we do a, a silver plating, uh, then a sunbrush finish starting from the center of the dial. And then we do a, a blue PVD uh, and after that we applied 10 layers of uh, translucent lacquer in order to give this uh, great deepness. And, uh, and then we, we machine the, the sub-dial at, uh, at 6 o'clock for, for the small seconds indicator. I've just been showing this domed effect a little bit, and also the hand. So yeah, so all the indexes and hands are crafted in 18K white gold, even if it's a uh, stainless, steel, uh, sta stainless steel case. So we're seeing a stainless steel case. This yes. is good to know, because it could be also white gold, so it's stainless steel, but the indexes and hands are made out of white gold. Correct. Very good to know. It is, it is important to mention that this new caliber uh, was developed uh, especially for this line, meaning that the, the, diff, the, the, the center distance of the subdial um, and the position of the subdial uh, was specified in connection with the design of the dial uh, and also the, the 40, millimeter, 40 millimeter case uh, in order to obtain a, a perfect balance with the indexes, hands, and the dome shape. Well, the positioning of the Subdial and the uh, running second is not a coincidence, but really was mm. done by purpose mm. to position it. The, certain, the center distance, uh, so the distance between the central hole and uh, the subdial is 7.5 millimeters. We have that distance from here. And you really see that this uh, is a movement uh, yeah, that fits, first of all, in the case. <laughs> That's good to know. When you turn the watch around, you, have, uh, you see that the movement fits completely. Yeah, it's, in it's a direct integration yeah. um, between the movement. There, there's no inner circle between the movement yeah, and the case. There's no cheating. No. And as it should be with such a watch, and this is why I really like the watch very much at first sight, is that what uh, Greg just said is the fact that proportions on the dial are almost perfect. They're really almost perfect. If you look at this, the sub-dial is where it should be. It's not too much in the center. It's not really out of the center. It's just in a perfect mm. position. And it's a little bit, I think, cutting the two index at six o'clock, but only a little bit. But it's perfectly harmon harmon in a harmony with the entire look of the watch, and this is how it should be at the end of the day. Yeah. To increase the readability of the time, uh, that's why at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock we have double index. Yeah. And you have the same detail on the seconds track, on the small seconds. So at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock you have also this double print. So you have the double print here, and you again have it done here. On the sub dial, you see. So we have the same two, design signature two, between the minute yeah. track and the seconds track. Yeah. That's how it should be. If you do such a watch, alligator strap, I'll turn it around and you see the inner side of it. What's the distance in between the lugs? 20 and 16. Yes. 20 here. So it's tapering from 20 uh, in between the lugs to 16, where the 
buckle is. So this is how you see it. And I will close it now and show you the entire watch. So, um, as I just told you, I was closing um, the clasp and so I can uh, really uh, show you the watch, uh, how it looks like as an entire piece. Yeah, as we always do, we come to the buckle, that's how it looks like. You have two loops, taking care, and there you go. And I will also show it from this side so you can really see how it looks like. Always that perfect view on the movement with all details and yep. There we go. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Fontobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com slash watches. This is a complete new color, I think, uh, um, correct me, uh, Greg, if I'm wrong, but I have never seen this color uh, at Omega before. No, this is definitely a, a premiere. <laughs> uh, we, we wanted definitely to, to obtain a very nice burgundy color, but with, uh, uh, with a PVD technology. Uh, instead, uh, a burgundy, which is painted or lacquered, we wanted to have a metallic uh, finish. Uh, so the, the base of the dial is made of brass and then we have a, a very nice sunbrush finish or soleil in French starting from the center. And then we used the PVD technology to obtain this very nice burgundy color with a touch of uh, red wine. And then the top surface is, is lacquered with a transparent lacquer. So this is a Sedna gold case. Yes, exactly. Um, Sedna gold case, uh, which is an exclusive uh, pink or red gold alloy. Uh, side. Uh, does the thickness of the Sedna gold model differ from the other watches, or is it the, the same, same thickness? Uh, Ten millimeters. Uh, okay. uh, the crystal here is, is you can see. Ah, yeah. It is slightly domed. Yes. Uh, on, the, so on the back side. Watch the, ba the back side. The back side. I'm not talking about the, but here you see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's slightly domed. Uh, yeah, you can see so this. Oh, that's, but this was not the case with the steel version. Uh, the steel version had uh, a flat, uh, okay. flat crystal, but uh, very, very, very interesting because sapphire is, 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 uh, is cool on the skin, so it's very comfortable to wear that watch. And the reason for doing this with the uh, Sedna Gold version? Different conception uh, regarding the case. Um, okay. You can see here the the, the balance bridge, which is also crafted in 18K Sedna Gold. Yes, in difference to the... Yeah, so the stainless steel. It's the same case. movement. Uh, what I didn't show before in the C version is that you can also independently set the hour hand. I will show you this. Yeah. So for doing uh, adjustments when you travel, you don't need to stop the watch. First position, you can jump. The hour hand can jump in one hour step. Let me show you this. So this applies also um, for the... I need to the glove gloves it's almost it's very difficult of course as always yes so you have the time zone function you see now the hand is moving in one hour steps time zone function so and you see clearly and this is important now you see the second hand um, small second hand still running or ticking or swiping over the dial and this is the effect uh, this is what you want with such a watch um, uh, Metas uh, is uh, uh, certifying uh, this master chronometer from zero to plus five seconds. So it's an absolute uh, incredible accurate watch. And when you are doing a small adjustment because you have been traveling and you want to do an adjustment for the hour, you don't want the watch to stop and to get a new information from a time signal to readjust your watch. And this is why they're doing this. And this is very smart. And you can see you can in one hour steps, you can adjust. Uh, the watch and I will make it smile again for you pulling out the crown in the second position Tech, and then you have to change my after and that's smiling again and now you see I've, I'm in the second crown position and you see the small second hand stopped and this only happens or is the case when you go in the time setting mode pulling in again and you see it runs 
just to uh, give this small additional information. So Setna Gold, um, yeah, uh, and you see it in the dome defect. That's nice. Love it. It's nicer. It's, uh, yeah. It reduced the vi visual thickness of, uh, of the case band. So optical effect to reduce, yeah, nice. All these details, I'm so happy to have Greg beside of me. I wouldn't be able to, to uh, give you all this detailed informa information, so it's good to have him here. Okay, um, Burgundy, very nice style, nice color, new color and Omega. So oh, this now um, is my favorite of this entire Tresor collection. As uh, Greg just mentioned, there is also a version, uh, and we, we will show this in a separate video, uh, with a um, power reserve indication and uh, are these with the only small second and this gray dial. It's a dark gray and again the effect, the soleil effect, the sunburst effect delivers some, you see, incredible. Uh, uh, views on the dial, um, but this for me is my favorite color and I have to say, and Greg please uh, uh, correct me if I do say something, the positioning of the small second versus the entire dial is in perfect harmony and if you see the color and if you take this gray version, this is really my absolute favorite of all the now, wait, I, I'm trying to get the good angle. You see now, this is the color where we are in about. It's a gray dial, but with the light falling on it, it is causing, of course, some lighter reflex, reflections. And it's not... What would you call the color, Greg, of the dial? It's a dark gray color uh, with a glossy effect. We, we wanted also to, to make a... a a small distinction in terms of in terms of design between the sub dial and the rest of the dial. So the sub dial is lacquered, but with a matte finish, and the top surface is lacquered as well, but with a with with a polished finish. Yeah, that's my favorite. This is, uh, yeah, uh, I would say, the beautifulest freehand watch I have seen for a long time. Everything is perfect. Thickness, lock to lock distance, um, diameter, simply perfect, 70 hours of power reserve. Uh, that's what we said before. That's just a stunning, beautiful watch. Gray allig alligator strap. See here, depending on the light that falls on it, you get various effects. The perfect watch to wear giving different shades again and my absolute favorite when I saw it in, a, in, a, in the presentations this was really the watch I said this is the one to have to be worn with a suit in business but also be worn with a shirt jeans probably that's so cool okay enough of <laughs> enough of presenting my favorite <laughs> let's let me show you also um, the yellow gold one, yellow gold and green. <laughs> Very nice combination. We actually use the same greenhouse uh, we have uh, on the Seamasters Aquaterra collection, but here with, with a different effect uh, thanks to the, the glossy uh, we have on the top surface. So we have uh, 10 layers of uh, translucent lacquers and uh, the subdial is, is matte finish in order to, to obtain a very nice contrast for, for reading the time. If you have a look on the reverse side of the watch, you will admire the, the luxury movement with a Sedna called Balance Bridge. And talking about the, the number of components, uh, this movement has 24 more components than the three ends movement. Uh, 
due to the fact that the, the small seconds is located at uh, six, six o'clock, so we have 24 more components than the standard three hands movement. The soleil, the sunburst effect, you did a good job, I have to say, Gregory, <laughs> because this sunburst effect yeah. is really, it's delivering. Yeah, to obtain a very nice soleil finish, you have first to, to, to do a, a, a silver, a silver galvanic treatment, and then you do the sunbrush treatment on it. And after that, you, you colorize the, the dial here with a PVD technology for obtaining this very dark, uh, dark green color. And then to get this glossy effect, you applied uh, 10 layers of uh, transparent lacquer. Crazy. And after you polish, uh, of course, you polish uh, mm -hmm. the, the dial. And uh, it's, 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 it's more difficult to, to produce such like a dial than a standard dome dial because you have to respect the, the radius of, of the domed shape uh, because, again, the indexes are machined out with the same radius as the dial. Mm -hmm. Gold indexes, gold hands. Correct. Yes, what you may expect. Yellow gold, coming back. Green uh, crocodile strap or... Alligator strap coming with it, as you see, on the back side to show you it. And uh, tapering, uh, we said that before, from 20 on top to 16 in the clasp. And of course, a clasp, pin buckle with a 18 grad yellow gold pin buckle with it. There it is, in green. That's a perfect angle, Alexander, uh, to, to see and to observe uh, the, the new finish we applied on, on, on this silver dial. Uh, usually we have a silver opaline uh, finish, but in this case we introduce a, a crystal finish, uh, which give a, a, a bright effect, uh, and that's why we decided to set uh, the bezel with uh, 72 diamonds. Uh, full cut size and uh, diameter of the diamonds is 1.4 millimeters, totaling uh, 0 0.8 uh, carat. We are dealing with the same watch, um, but applied on the basal or applied, decorated. The basal is decorated with diamonds, so either for women or men who like a little bit more of a yeah a funky <laughs> style. Um, this is a good proposition. Yeah, I, sure. I, get some, I get some light reflections from the diamonds, you see here. I have some reflections, but if I want to show it on a dial, it's almost... Imagine it to be very uh, gray, bright, a, bright, a bright gray, is this correct? Uh, bright silver. Bright, sil uh, bright uh, silver, yes, yeah, not gray, silver. of course, bright yeah. silver. Uh, this bright effect is uh, obtained by uh, sandblasting uh, the top surface of okay. the dial. And then the subdial is is machined with a with a specific uh, circular uh, effect. And you get Therefore, it. we have a, a nice contrast between uh, the subdial and the rest of the dial. And the alligator. Another possibility to wear the new Trésor. So, uh, Trésor, small second, um, the last picture or the last few goes on my favorite uh, dark gray dial, it's usually my favorite watch, elegant wristwatch for the moment, I haven't seen any, I, I, said, I just said it before, uh, that is so perfectly balanced on their all aspects, features such an uh, innovative technology under the dial, uh, Master Chronometer certified, and that's uh, such a beauty. Thanks for watching, Greg. Thanks for all your uh, support. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and see you soon.
Ah, you see, he said everything I had to say. <laughs> Thanks. Your comments are welcome, of course, and use the comment section and ask questions if you have some, and I will answer them as much if I, if I can, and if not, forward them to Omega, and then you will get the answers. Thanks for watching another video on uh, Watch Advisor on YouTube, and see you soon back. And don't forget to watch, of course, all the other Omega videos we are taping today here at the Omega headquarters. Bye-bye. Hey. Have you packed your luggage? If not, do so. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. You will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to Switzerland.